What's up guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to hook up two Synology disk stations to one UPS. There's not even one video out there showing you how to do this. It's so frustrating that I'm the only video that took the time to show you how to do this. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that have two disk stations and only one UPS. Every video that I looked up today showed you how to hook up only one disk station to one UPS. That's easy, that's not hard. There's plenty of videos out there, but in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hook up two to one UPS. So with saying that, let's get started in the video. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure your UPS is plugged into the wall. You're gonna make sure your UPS is set up. All that's pretty easy. Most UPSs are pretty self-explanatory. You plug it in and you're good to go. You might have a English um, and you might have a few settings, but most of them are pretty simple. Mine was pretty simple, plugged it in and I was good to go. Either that or I never seen the setup process because I got this one from my boss. But most Synology disk stations are very easy to set up. Once you do that, you wanna make sure both of your Synology disk stations are plugged into your UPS battery surge. It's gonna have, mine at least, has two sections. One section I think is five that says just surge. The other one says battery and surge. So you wanna make sure both of your Synologies are plugged into battery and surge. So it's making sure it's gonna use the battery if there was a power outage. Yes, that's pretty self-explanatory, but some people might not know that. So now you know. Okay, so once you do that, you're gonna plug in the USB, but this side goes into UPS, and then this side goes into whichever Synology you want to use for this. And the other one is gonna be done with the network. It's gonna be feeding off the network. So you plug this side into UPS, this side into the Synology, whichever Synology you want to use, and then we're gonna jump into the computer and I'm gonna show you how I have this set up. So now that we're on the computer, this one is the one, this efficient story, one that don't have two on it, is the one that I have my USB plugged into. This one is the one that I don't have a USB plugged into. So the way you do it is you go here, you go to control panel, go to hardware and power, go to USB. Before we do that, let's go back to general. Power recovery, we wanna make sure restart automatically when power supply issue is fixed. I have that checked. Um, I would recommend checking it, it's pretty awesome. So I do have that check and then the UPS, click on that and then if it's new, you're gonna have to enable. All you do is click enable, set your timing up um, out of the box, you know, not out of the box, but if this is your first time setting it up, it's not gonna have four minutes. It's gonna have when battery is low, that's whenever it's gonna enter safe mode. But I put mine at four minutes. They're both gonna enter safe mode when at four minutes, just in case a few years down the line, these batteries happen to get old, they're gonna last four minutes. And my power is pretty good here. So I don't really have to worry about it, but if it does happen, um, the, it's gonna be safe. So you do that, put your time in, um, shut down when the system enters safe mode, that it's gonna automatically shut down your Synologies. Um, you could be gone traveling and it will automatically make sure your data and everything that you have in the hard drives are okay. Okay, so this is the part where most people skip over. This is the part you wanna enable network UPS server. Click on that, and then this IP address right here, this one, you are gonna type in your second Synology disk station, uh, this IP address right here, you're gonna type in to here. That's not all you have to do though. Don't, don't stop watching yet. You have to do more than that. I thought that's all you had to do, and I was completely wrong. I did have a power outage, and it didn't shut down the second Synology, so that's not all you have to do. So you hit OK, hit apply, I didn't do any changes, so it's not gonna allow anything. Then you go back to your second Synology, you go to control panel, you go to hardware and power. Um, on, in general, make sure you restart automatically when supply issue is fixed. I have that checked for my second one as well. Okay, so once you get to UPS on your second Synology disk station, you want to enable UPS support, just like you would on the other one, but instead, you're gonna go over here and make sure your Synology UPS server, make sure Synology UPS server is selected. And then you're gonna set your time, just like the other one, I have it set to four minutes. 
and then the network UPS server IP right here where it says this, you were gonna put this one, the Synology disk station that has the USB plugged into it, you were gonna put that IP address into this field right here, and then you were gonna hit apply. And then once you, when, whenever you do that, this will pop up showing you that everything is connected properly. Once that information is popped up, you are good to go. If that information don't pop up, it's not connected correctly. So you hit apply whenever this is done out, it's not gonna, there's no settings change. So once that's in, you are good. And once this pops up device information and it shows your battery percentage and all that, the reason why it's at 95 right now is because I just unplugged everything and it uh, used some battery. So that's how you set it up, very easy. With saying that, I'm gonna unplug it and I'm gonna show you guys what it does on both Synology disk stations. I'm gonna show you that both of them are gonna enter power saving mode and both of them are gonna have warning signs. Both of them are gonna be set up with one UPS. And then I might even get my phone and point to the UPS to show you guys there's only one, there's only one. Okay, so we're saying that I'm gonna exit everything out on both, and then I'm gonna get up, and I am going to unplug uh, the UPS from the wall and demonstrate to you what is gonna happen here with both Synology disk stations. Okay, so you're gonna hear some beeping from the Synology disk station right there, and then it might, well, I just got the emails because I do have my email set up as well. And as you see, the power supply happened on the first one. This is the one where the USB is plugged into. And the second one, see it did it as well. This one only has a network, um, like I just showed you. This one does not have a USB plugged in. This one has a USB plugged in. This one is the one I just showed you how to hook it up through the network with the IP address. And as you hear, it's beeping, it's only one. I'm gonna show you with my phone that it is only one, even though I took B-roll. Only one, as you see right there, with two Synology disk stations. And that's you right there, you and the camera. Okay, and as you see, they both, your disk station is running on whatever. And then this one should say the same thing. As you see, they both are giving out warnings. That's awesome. And you hear it beeping. And yeah, that's, that's that. So I'm gonna plug it back in and as you're gonna see, they're both gonna go back to normal. Okay, so I just plugged the UPS back in. It might take a few seconds, but it is everything gonna go back to normal. Actually, you might see some signs pop up right here. Yep, UPS device connected has entered battery mode. Okay, so as you hear, my Google is reconnecting, which I don't have that on the battery because it don't really need to be. This one, okay, so this, the second one actually put up a sign before the first one did, which is cool. Okay, and there is the first one. Okay, so they're both back on AC mode, which is perfect. This one's back to healthy power, and so is this one. It's very easy. It's just nobody out there is explaining how to do this. Every video that I watch today, it tells you, this is how you do it, but I'm not gonna show you how to do it, but this is how you do it. And they never do the full process, which is important. You always have to go to your second one, go to control panel, and then type in the IP address from your first Synology. They don't explain that, nobody does in all the videos that I watched today. It frustrated me so bad. So I figured now that there's a video out there, somebody won't have the frustration that I had when they're setting their Synologies up. So with saying that, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell notification icon, uh, whatever you have to do to make sure you keep up with this channel. I have some really awesome videos coming out, some drone videos coming out. Um, yeah, so with saying that, make sure you have a good day, and I will see you in the next video.